Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We're going to look at transistor uh, Before that, let us try to recall what we have learned before uh, This is forward bias So for forward bias, P type is connected to positive And N type is connected to negative terminal of the battery And for reverse bias N type is connected to positive and P type is connected to negative. So for reverse bias, there is no current here. Okay, so this is what we have done before. And now we're going to look here. So in this case, this is the forward bias because P is connected to positive of the battery so current can flow in this case so current flow this direction okay now what happened if uh, okay let me do it uh, this way what if I add another N type over here what will happen let's say we have N type here so in, we have electron here so for reverse bias look here we have a big depletion layer so the same thing happens here we have depletion layer over here so as, as a result current cannot flow there is no current because of the depletion layer increases so current uh, electron here does not have enough energy to cross the depletion layer and then go to positive terminal so what we do now is in order to make sure current can flow we need to supply energy to the current sorry to the electron to the electron here so when we have this battery so electron here has enough energy to go forward into P type and then fill up the holes and some of them some of the electron will go to positive terminal here when uh, the electron here has enough energy it can also cross the depletion layer and then go straight to positive terminal remember this is flow of current uh, sorry flow of electron not current so when there is a flow of electron there will be a flow of current in opposite direction so we have electron here uh, sorry we have current flow in opposite direction and we call this I base this current and we have current flow in opposite direction of electron here and we call it call this IC it stands for uh, collector current and you can see I base and collector current will meet each other now they will combine to produce I E stands for emitter current. So that's why we have this formula. So in short, we can say that uh, I C, this I C, only exists if we have I B, I, I B. So you need to remember this. I C exists if I B exists. So this is uh, what 
happening in uh, transistor. Uh, it can also be drawn like this using uh, the symbol of transistor here. So as, you should, uh, as I told you earlier, when there is IB, there will be IC, and IE is the summation of IC and IB. And you need to know that uh, IC is much bigger than IB because we have bigger voltage here compared to, to this one.